Hi, welcome. Today we're going to talk about VPNs, the good, the bad, the ugly, and what you can do about it. So what is a VPN? Well, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it's a way of rerouting your traffic to an alternate source. That way, it helps kind of camouflage where you are. Maybe even who you are, if you do it the right way. How does a VPN work? You basically build an encrypted tunnel between your device and the VPN server. The VPN server encrypts all that data as it bounces from your computer to your wireless spot to your ISP. All that just looks like encrypted data going between you and VPN host. For the scope of the video, I'm not going to go into some of the more powerful features of OpenVPN, wacky, awesome things. That's for another video. So at the end of the day, all your secrets are on this VPN host. Now, if you trust these guys, if you genuinely trust these guys, nothing to worry about. You're good to go. But if you're like me, a little on the paranoid side, you might want to think about spinning up your own service. And it's actually very easy. There's a piece of software out there called OpenVPN. And OpenVPN, it's a very friendly and powerful server for your own VPS. V VPN, not VPS. You can run on a VPS. We're gonna spin up a VPN service on a VPS of our choice. A VPS, not to be confused with a VPN, is a virtual private server that you can install software on. For example, a VPN. These uh, acronyms are getting out of hand. So here we are, we are logged into one of my favorite virtual private service programs, Vulture. As you can see, uh, I've been running this for a while. I've charged up a huge bill of six cents. And this is a VPN service I've been having running for most of the day. Yeah, one point, yeah, 16th of a gig of bandwidth, 4% CPU usage, six cents. Pretty groovy, it doesn't take much. So let's go back to the products page and I'm gonna spin up a brand new server. Now I'm in Los Angeles, so I'll click Los Angeles and I can click on the application. This is this is what makes it all magic right here. It's it's very, very simple. You grab your open VPN. I'm gonna grab the five dollar a month because it's just me. I'm, it's not like I got a team of uh, people. The more people you use, obviously you wanna pay for a, a fatter service, but yeah, here we are. So we deploy this now. It's gonna take a few seconds for this up and running, but I wanna point out again, this experience on Vulture, it's really good, but by no means is this the only VPS, uh, is the only private server company that will do this for you. Uh, DigitalOcean, um, Linode, which I'm rocking the free shirt from, from Scale, um, all the major ones have basically one or two click installs that are just as easy to set up and go. All right, so that's all finished up. Let's go into our new cloud instance. The nice thing about this is they kind of give you the login and everything. So I'm gonna grab that password. Open link and new tab. Here we are in our brand new open VPN instance. The uh, very insecure default username and the password is log in. And that's basically it. You drop this uh, open VPN file in either your program open VPN, which you use your username and password, or you can install the Android app. Highly recommend it if you do a lot of computing on your phone that you're, where you're worried about. It really is just as simple as that and uh, it's pretty awesome. As you can see, spinning up an open VPN server is very simple, very easy, and highly recommended, much better option than a VPS service. Also, I wanna point out, you can run multiple services on different networks, spin them up as you need them, and when you're not using them, you can actually turn them off and not get charged for them. Why pay for something when you're not using it? Anyways, guys, that's it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next one.